농담 네. 좀 팬이에요 <웃음> 여러분, long time no see, and today or tonight actually, because I can't sleep. So this could be a little rambling video, but I decided to change it up because I feel like I've been doing a lot of storm videos lately, or just like the same things. So today I kind of wanted to give you like comparison video, like you'll probably see in the title, um, of different binders you could use for your K-pop collection. I have a lot of thoughts and I'll, of course a lot of these are my opinions so most of this will just be me giving you the features of these different kind of binders and then my personal opinion kind of like food for thought but yeah I've been seriously collecting since like later 2020 I guess I would say and since then even if you've like been at the beginning of my channel my stuff has changed so much. I've been experimenting with like almost every supplies that is in like the collecting community in general, like the different nine pockets, different binders, like different just like layouts or setups and stuff. So it's, was, it's kind of fun to play with, but also overwhelming at the same time. So today I'm just gonna kind of give you some of my recommendations or things to think about when you're going to start a K-pop collection. Now, I don't have every type of binder, of course, but I do know enough about like ones I don't have on me on hand because I either had them in the past or there are enough videos on them from other K-pop channels that I'm familiar with them. So with that being said, um, stay tuned. There are timestamps below if you wanna see like a specific type and let's go. So the first and most common for any card collecting are going to be your A4 binders. They're probably the easiest to find in any type of store, whether it's like the dollar store or like a Walmart or uh, anything that just sells school supplies. I normally get mine at Target. By the way, I'm gonna be telling this in the perspective of an American because obviously that's where I can get my supplies, but I will recommend some other websites that I've gotten some other supplies from, if that will be helpful, mainly like Korean sites. This is just a plain white one, um, hard cover. Might be an AV brand, I don't know, but it's like, that, that brand's pretty popular in the US, but yeah, this is like just your normal standard one. This is a one and a half inch, I think. Um, it's like a pretty good size. I try not to go above two inch because I have small hands and I don't like it being chunky. This will offer you like, the easiest supplies to find because there are a lot to go with um, three ring binders. If you are like outside of the US, um, you guys might have like four ring, four or like two ring binders, but I know that we have to like special order them and we can't just like go find them in store. So yeah, m mainly popular three ring binders. So my favorite, features for this is that it has like pockets on the side obviously not necessary but i like to keep extra things like notes or like just things i don't know what to do with like extra postcards or something the opening mechanism i don't remember what it's called exactly but it's just this little like one opening thing that like opens and closes that i love in like a4 three ring binders because i don't always like having to open it like that. I do have one that's like that. It's like a two inch um, binder that you used in the past, but normally I do look for just like the little like tab opening because it's so much easier than always just having used both. But yeah, so they will, these will of course fit like your standard nine pocket pages that you can get honestly locally in like a craft store or I I love the office, the office deeper ones. Those are literally my second favorite. Um, pages, but any card games or order them. So yeah, that is obviously the big standard one and they have a variety of like pockets for bigger inclusions. And if you ever want like a, like a page comparison thing video, let me know. But yeah, see, there's just a ton of variety for these. And 
I will get into definitely the variety for smaller binders, but yes, this is just like the most accessible option I feel like for starting um, a collection, especially if you have a big collection. If you're collecting three members of a group, it works really good for OT3 layouts. I'm gonna briefly show this one. I think I got this one at Walmart. It also has the same um, little tab here. I just keep my extra pages in it, but this is also like a hard, like kind of a more hardcover one that has rounded edges. I also have a two inch binder that's pretty similar that has round edges. It's in my closet right now, but yeah, it has a cute little window view that I don't have anything written in to stick a piece of paper in yet, but maybe I'll get to it. Well, actually, no. Oh yeah, I did. But then I like took it out because it's just for storage purposes now. But so those are the standard A4 binders. Now I'm going to go on to the next common thing in the collecting community so far, especially the K-pop community or if you're into like any stickers. That is the A5 binders. Um, normally just four pockets per page kind of thing. But yeah, so there are a variety. Um, I have uh, four different types here, but I've used um, other ones in the past that I will probably get into for some comparison. They're all, I either ordered them or I found them in store. I do like using all of them, but like just for different things. Here is the Beyond the binder it's probably like literally the most popular one here on youtube it's actually the one i started my very first k-pop collection in which was yosong from 80s if you see like the first video of my channel it'll, you'll see like me setting it up but yeah um it's a really really popular binder honestly for a reason like i get it i don't really use it right now because i am trying other binders but it has served me since 2020 so some good features on it is it does have some writing on the front but i see, saw that like if you took nail polish or just some acetone you can just like rub it right off if you don't want it and i know the most popular thing about this binder is like the pocket window view right here that i guess adds like a cute little touch and everything and let's see i could take a random pentagon card that I had next to me just it with a little cutout in the back I normally like when I used actual cards in the pocket I would like sleeve them with a form-fitting sleeve just for extra protection but yes yeah, so I it's super super cute if you want like a little window in the front if you want to like show what's in the binder who's in the binder or just want to display a cute card it's such a cute functionality for it. The six ring one, I have a few that are six ring and those seem to be pretty popular. Um, this one you can get on various websites that I will link down below. I normally do have them in my description, but I got this one. I used to have another one, but I sold that because I didn't need it anymore. But I think I got this one from mochithings.com, which is out of the US, but I know you can get it on like um, or the Chingu or uh, the neighbor store, neighbor, um, if someone's hosting a go, which those tend to be a lot less expensive. So I would highly recommend. But yeah, BNDA4 and A5 stuff, that is that pretty popular. But these are not, oh, by the way, these are not the um, BND sleeves. These are the Amifa brand sleeves. I do have some BND sleeves left, but I think they're. There's somewhere else, I don't know. But yeah, so the rings you see are pretty thick and I would say that this one out of the ones I have might hold the most. But as you can also see, I it has an elastic that comes with it that I took out because honestly, over time, if you put the elastic around, it can bend the binder and it bend the cards as well so i see a lot of other people take it out too and it's just like for me better safe than sorry because i'm like kind of neurotic <laughs> about it but yeah so that is the beyond d binder very sturdy uh, i would say it holds its shape pretty well like you can stand it up on a shelf if you want also has a keychain or keyhole feature if you want to put a little charm i do have another one to compare this one to so this is just another clear five binder that i ordered on amazon actually it was like 10 for a two pack which i thought was really good but so it's slightly 
smaller than the Beyond D by width and height. Um, it's, a, it's a lot more compact, I think, um, than the Beyond D one, if you can probably see from the spines too. Just a, like just barely, the Beyond D is a little wider, but I like this one too, just because um, this one just seems more customizable because since it's literally just plain, um, you can do whatever with it. And sometimes I'm like not feeling the window, you know, and I just want like a cute cover, like see-through cover and everything. So this one also comes with elastic that I haven't taken out for some reason. That's what it looks like. And it also fits um, Beyond D pages that would fit here. But if you wanted like anything wider like these Amifa sheets, um, it would have a little bit of overhang. But the Beyond D size four pockets are like perfect size for these. One thing I forgot to mention about A5 binders. So if the angle is different, it's because I'm like adding this in. Um, is these are really good if you want to collect two or one member because of like the four pocket layout. Um, I did have Dune in an A4, but I switched him back into this little A5 because it's just really like nice to have all of his Korean album cards in one, as you can probably see. So yeah, that's what a lot of people recommend for a5 binders is if you are collecting one or two members i just think it's really nice and compact for me but yes i have two um three ring a5 binders that are actually more accessible but you do have to do some crafting with them so i'm gonna show this a5 binder um it's so cute actually because it's literally just like a mini of the a4 binder i showed in the beginning it's just it's real like it's just like super cute so yeah as you can probably see it's my twice binder right now and the thing about three ring a5 binders is that you're gonna have to craft a lot of your supplies because four pocket pages are mainly meant for you know six ring you have to like mainly order the six ring four pocket pages, but I actually don't mind being crafty. So I have had a lot of extra nine pockets laying around when I bought my new guard hell shield ones. And so since I still really liked using them, I didn't want them to go to waste. So I was totally fine with measuring and cutting them all out to fit these nine pocket rings. I mean, nine, to fit these three rings. So yeah, I think it's just really cute. Um, I have seen a lot of other people use this. I was kind of skeptical at first because I was like, why would you want to like craft your own if you can just buy one? But honestly, it's really convenient. If you know anything about a standard binder, they're pretty sturdy, they're pretty hard. And I just really like how this one just keeps its shape and it's just a lot more sturdy in my opinion even more sturdy than the clear ones i just showed you but again it's up to preference if you how much you do like crafting um i kind of just like did whatever like i cut i had extra eight pockets that i'm probably not gonna get through in a while so i customized them for any horizontal cards or bigger ones or like that but yeah, this one is just like super cute. And I think I just, honestly, my, my favorite thing about this is the sturdiness and it can hold a lot as you can see. And this one I think is sold at Staples. It is like a rounded one and not the standard sharp edge one. This one also has like a little window view if you wanna mark. See, I just have Yen's name because I transferred Pentagon into this binder. Um, this one is also sturdy. I could definitely give it points for sturdiness. And it also has the one touch, I think it's actually called like one touch or something, feature. So this one has side pockets rather than like the straight pockets that normal binders have. And I actually don't mind them. Um, I kind of just stick things in pockets, kind of be semi-decorative. Um, I don't really care 
if they have pockets or not. But this one, um, of course, you also have to be crafty, but postcards and things, I liked, I personally liked the idea of more form-fitting things instead of, you know, just like the a full one page for postcards. So what I did was actually cut out a few sheets from like three pocket, four by six photo sheets that would normally go in a three, like a an A4 standard binder. And I put them in the front because I think this is just good, a good way to use some of your extra supplies. And I also did that with the back, of course. This one, I do have some of the Beyond D one pockets that I did modify some of the holes, as you can see. You know, Office Depot and Staples do carry just like normal, like sheet protector, like one pocket sheets for three ring binders, but I have so many like hole punched one pockets laying around that I am just trying to use them. And the same thing with these two pockets that I think are also beyond D. But yeah, so just the thing about A5 three ring binders, overall, just you have to be crafty. You have to hole punch a lot of things. Um, but I just like their sturdiness and I like their availability. Um, they don't come in as many cute colors as standard A4 ones, but I honestly am not that picky. I normally just use white anyways. So this is kind of like a transition to collect book things, but this is also an A5 binder. So it's weird because A5 like measuring is like kind of different for some reason, um, but they're like very similar. I don't really know how to describe it, but yes, this is still technically classified as an A5. So it's a Taka carrot version. And I wanted to show this because I wanted to talk about like built in like pages and everything. I used to have another Beyond D binder that I'll probably put a picture of that has built-in pages. And I know the Sanrio four pockets are also pretty popular. So the thing about built-in pages is that obviously you can't rearrange them. So you either have to pre-plan pretty well or you're gonna have to keep like taking stuff out and moving them, which I don't like. Like. I'm always changing my collections or I always want to grow them. So if it's not like a completed collection that I may just want to like save and store away, then I don't really gravitate toward them, you know? The only thing I would say for um, built-in pocket binders at all is just like smaller collections and ones that you don't think are going to grow a lot because like i know that some people use them for like rookie groups or things like that but i personally just like the f like to have the freedom to move things around or just change my mind often because otherwise the pages are also just gonna get worn out in my experience so yeah so by the way if you do use this book like if you have the attacker ones, um, these sleeves are not PVC free. Um, you can probably just tell by the plastic. It's just a thick plastic. So it's not gonna be PVC free, which means that they will damage your cards over time. Any pockets that are just archival safe, that say archival safe or non PVC, then those are good for your photo cards. Like the Beyond D pages are P PVC free, I believe. But again, this is about binders, but yeah. So that is my opinion on that. I honestly like this, if I stored the cards that actually came with this binder, because if you didn't know, this carrot version came with like 20 concept cards. I think it would be cute because it'd be a cute little book, but I put those in my main binder. <laughs> so the last like book I wanted to touch on are collect books. Um, popular ones are two pocket ones or just this one pocket book one these are really great if you have a very very small collection and are just starting out and want a place to like put and display them um or if you're like me i have it for like a retired collection where i wanted to keep some cards but i didn't feel like putting it in like a binder with someone else i wanted to give um your song his own little book but most collect books have a little window in the front where you can put like a picture but i have a card here 
and yeah so for this one pocket one of course it's actually double-sided and they're side loading these pages and collect books most often are not pvc free as well if you're just like unsure i would just leave your cards just to be safe paid a lot of money for some of these cards but yeah so I think one pocket books are just really super cute sometimes because again it's also just like a little book that's not in frame okay and this one that I bought off Instagram um, actually comes with a little charm that matches which is like the cutest thing ever in my opinion um, but yeah I have a few um, two pocket collect books that you will see later on my channel since I'm going to put my miscellaneous collections in but I know those are really good if you want to keep like one person or also miscellaneous cards because they can they traditionally hold like 64 to 72 cards which I think is honestly pretty good I would say the thing about one pocket collect books is that if you fill it all the way like all 40 cards front to back it will get kind of stuffed and probably won't close how you want it obviously i don't have everything in now but that is just what i've heard and i kind of see it with my nct collection right now i have for yuta and as you can see it's kind of like bulging a little bit and kind of like tilting and it's just i don't know so that is something to keep in mind if you want to like put a lot in it I just personally don't like it to be like so thick or super thick. The last thing I want to mention um, when choosing binders is what type of card size sleeves you want to get um, because one is a lot more accessible than the other in my opinion. So for the normal like nine pocket pages, A4 binders, and then like customized pages that I cut from nine pockets for my three rings use standardized sleeves work and i just find that standardized card sleeves are so much easier to find like i'm fortunate i have a few game stores um nearby and i know target sells some like they're just really more accessible for traditional four pockets for the a5 binders you will have to use um, smaller sleeves. So like, they would call like Japanese card size sleeves. Uh, 59 by 86 is like perfect for them. Um, there are obviously like smaller ones. You can do more form fitting ones. So that is something to keep in mind because um, this actually specific one, the clear classic in Japanese from Dragon Shield sells out like all the time. So I'm and only and these only come in like 60 packs. There are like other other colors, of course. I do have another color. I I'm too lazy to get it. But yeah, I do have another color in this. These come in a hundred. And it's like four more more bucks than I've seen this. Three or four. And you get like 40 more sleeves, which I think is a better deal in my opinion. But I do know, the only brand I've seen, personally, you can definitely let me know if there are other ones because I'd be happy to buy. Um, Titan Shield Gaming has these size sleeves in like packs of 100, I think. But I also know that the clear ones sell out super fast because, you know, everybody's getting them for their little mini binders. So it's kind of a struggle. You just have to be a lot more patient. So... Why does- okay, I promise it's actually not that dirty. I don't know why it looks like that. But this is the a standardized sleeve, and this is a Japanese one. So, as you can see, of course, this one's smaller in length and width. I do have another color standardized so I can show you better. So this is actually in the color Petrol, also Dragon Shield. But yeah, so that is kind of a big difference if you think about it. Um, that's just something else to keep in mind with like buying sleeves, like kind of keeping up buying sleeves if you're gonna sleeve your cards can be a lot. Um, if you wanna do like the popular Mayday games one, I know like those packs are like purple, I think. I have some. They're like pretty form fitting and a lot of people use that for a five binders too, but those also sell out pretty quickly. 
and they come in like packs of 50 so it's kind of comparable but it's also hard to get your hands on so yeah this is definitely not the thumbnail but i didn't know how to do this so yes guys that was kind of a little mini comparison on different binders that beginning k-pop collectors can consider um they, of course there are so many other ones out there but it's just I think that size and like that consideration is definitely something to take into account when starting a collection. Like if you want to have a big one or just a intimate, like small collection. No, I only briefly went into like sleeves and pages and stuff. So if you want like a video on like other supplies I have, then feel free to let me know. But yes, I hope you guys kind of found this like maybe helpful or maybe if you want to listen to this when you go to sleep. I don't care. So yeah, without further ado, if you have any questions, let me know. I will try my best to leave some links um, of where I got this stuff down below. But yes, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.